Okay, I'm going to work through a couple examples associated with the Young double slit experiment. An unknown light source is incident on a pair of slits that are separated by 0.12 millimeters. So the distance between them is 0.12 millimeters or 0.00012 or if you want 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. The light forms an interference pattern on a screen that's 2 meters away. L equals 2 meters. The pattern shows five bright spots over a distance of 3.5 centimeters. So delta x, or delta y as I called it. Some textbooks will use delta x, some will use delta y. It doesn't really matter. I used delta y in the previous video, so I'll stick with that. In 0 0.035 meters, I have five bright spots. So one, two, three, four, five, and my point here is that I have one, two, three, four actual delta y's. If I have five bright spots, that means four delta y's. So my actual separation between them is 0 0.00875 meters. Okay, so we want the wavelength. So the formula here is delta y equals lambda l over d. So 0 0.00875 equals lambda times 2 0 0.00012. Okay, so times 0 0.2312 divided by 2 and I get a wavelength of 525 nanometers. Sorry, I'm skipping a step here. My calculator says 5.25 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Nanometers are times 10 to the negative 9. So all your visible wavelengths are going to be on this order. So what you do is typically the way they're stated is in nanometers. And so since I to go from 7 to 9, I'm going to multiply by 100, and that's why I have 525 nanometers. I think we can uh, go straight on and do another one here. A red laser, wavelength 630 nanometers. Is incident on slits that are separated by 0 0.042 millimeters. meters. Determine the space between consecutive bright spots on a screen that is 1.4 meters away. L is 1.4 meters. So we're looking for delta y here. Lambda L over D. Six thirty exponent negative nine times one point four divided by point one two three four two. So I got zero point zero two one meters or two point one centimeters. So that's how you can use it to find a wavelength or to predict the spacing. I'm gonna do one more example, but I think I'll just keep this video pretty short and do that next example in a separate video.